Okay, I want to do a quick rundown for the cadet challenge for each of the classes. Uh, just give you a quick video of how to actually get to it. So first, go to your class period in JRTC. Uh, go down to the channels, make sure it's not hidden. Sometimes it'll show hidden channels. So make sure you see that. You should see cadet challenge, physical fitness. Then go to files. And there's things on there on the actual fitness lesson that we did quite a while ago. Um, exercise one, track your progress. That if you want to have a sheet for doing this, that'd be the way to do it. I've already got pulled up, so let me grab that. Here's what it looks like. Let me load up a little bit. Okay, uh, it does have some additional instructions for you, and allows you to put your name. And you can always just type it in as well, as opposed to having a printed paper. Uh, school name, your name, age, weight, all that good stuff, and then the date that you actually do this. Um, so we're doing diagnostic right now, but you're welcome to do this like once a week or every other week, uh, all the way up until May, uh, just to keep trying to get better at things. So the expectation is to do curl ups as one event measures your abdominal muscles. Shuttle run is speed uh, over a short distance. That's the, the 30 feet or, or 10 yards. Uh, like what we would do on the football field or here in the, the school building, we do it here. Um, and you'll have two blocks um, or two blocks of wood, you know, two small water bottles, two erasers, whatever it is you need. Uh, but you, from your start line, when you start, when you hit go, you run down, pick up that item, bring it back, drop it across the line, go down, pick up the second one, and then come back, run through the line, and your time stops when you cross the line. So to do any, several of these, you're going to need a partner, and it does address that in the instructions up above there. Um, yeah, it talks about that. It gives you, here you go. talks about how to do that. Uh, for the V-sit and reach, if you have a yardstick, that's ideal. Uh, otherwise, you just use a regular ruler uh, placed in line with your heels, uh, and then you unlock your fingers, um, and you reach down as far as you can go and measure whatever that is, whether it's, you know, three inches or in my case, negative three inches. I've got to work on my flexibility still. Maybe it's just getting old. I don't know. Anyway, um, the idea is to check your, your reach. Uh, this whole thing is just diagnostic. It's for you to see where you're at right now so we can measure improvement over time. The expectation is that by May that you're doing really well. Um, I'll show you what the standards here in just a second. So make sure you also do your one mile run and you're going to figure out where and how to go do that. Whether you have a treadmill, whether you can come down here to the school, use the track, or if you can go out to Northmoreland Park, if you want to be outdoors, uh, they do have uh, several places that, where distances are measured that you can, you can track a mile uh, for, you know, going around the lake or whatever for doing a one mile course. I'm um, going to need you to be creative. I'm giving you uh, this week and, and next to get it done. Um, the final event is some measure of arm strength. Um, the one mile run is endurance, you know, running over, over distance over time. So arm strength, you can do either pull-ups, right angle push-ups, or the flex arm hang. Um, there, it, what you do, you know, you're welcome to try all three and then put down your best score. Or um, you don't have a pull-up bar or maybe like a door frame or somewhere that you can actually do the pull-ups or the flex arm hang you're kind of limited to just doing the push-ups the push-ups you can do anywhere uh, so let me pull up one other item then just so you can check your scores um, so if you go to you know again here in the, the files that go with the cadet challenge physical fitness there's the award criteria and we'll blow that up here Maybe. I don't want to download it. If I can, uh, here we go. Okay. So to be the 50th percentile, you know, think of that as midpoint, is average. Uh, find your gender, your age, and then figure out, you know, again, the, the curl ups and the, the push ups are how much you can do in one minute. Uh, and you just look, so for a 14-year-old boy, you should be able to do 45 curl-ups in one minute. 
uh, shuttle run should be 9.9 .9 seconds. V sit and reach should be one inch. You know, most guys should be able to do that, no problem. Um, one mile run, uh, there you're looking at seven minutes, 44 seconds, or five pull-ups. Right angle push-ups would be 24, and flex arm hang would be 20 seconds. Uh, so again, you see, yeah, that's the beauty of if you can do multiples, you, you can pick what your better score is based on these criteria. Um, goal would be to get up into that 85th percentile or better. So say you're a 15-year-old girl, you know, you're looking at doing 48 curl-ups in one minute, uh, shuttle run being 10 seconds, uh, V-sit over 8 inches. I, I, that was a tough one. I, I don't know a whole lot of folks can get up to that, uh, but there are some. Uh, just over eight minutes, you know, eight minutes and eight seconds on the one mile run, two pull ups or 20 right angle push ups. And I'm not sure why not, they dropped off the uh, flex arm hang on that one. So, anyway, something to take a look at. Uh, everyone has different strengths and weaknesses, so the idea is to uh, test yourself, and then that gives you some goals to work on between now and May. Uh, by May, it'd be ideal if we get everybody into that 50th percentile, but there's awards associated, especially if we get up towards that 85, 85 percentile. And the catch to get the, um, the JRTC Physical Fitness Award, you actually have to get 85% in every event, so all those. So say you, you did, you know, 17-year-old male and you did 60 push-ups or 60 curl-ups, you're, you're well over the standard there, um, but you only did 50 push-ups. You're between these two, you, you would not make it. It's not enough push-ups. Um, so you, again, to get the, the actual fitness award, you have to get across the board at 85th percentile. So uh, just something to think about. And I want you to do as well as you can, have a little bit of fun with this. And, uh, and again, diagnostic is just simply by doing it, you'll get participation points for this week and next. It'll be lumped together. Um, but the idea is that you, you see where you're at and then figure out how you're going to improve between now and May. And we do want to see improvement come May. So, okay. That is all we have for right now. I will post this, and I look forward to seeing what you guys do. Uh, if you have any challenges or any questions, please shoot me a note, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Have a great day, Vikings.